Hi YouTubers, welcome back. I'll just show you outside uh, where the solar panels are and then I'll bring you back inside and have a look at what I've done. Right, so I've got the two solar panels there, the two 240 watt solar panels. They are in series currently. I've lifted them up on an angle um, with some um, bits of wood underneath um, just to kind of angle them a bit more towards the sun. And um, I've got a 20 meter cable connected to them. Um, I haven't bothered to cut that mainly because I'm not really 100% sure um, which length or which length that I need uh, long term. So I've, I'm kind of best not to cut the cable. So anyway, that's how that's looking. Right. So back on the wall, what we've got is I've a couple of quick updates. Uh, I've changed. I had a couple of four gauge cables lying around. I had a, a red one lying around from my old car. Um, that I was using for the amp. So what I did was I put that uh, full gauge into here, re-put some more um, shrink wrap on that, and then I ended up buying some more full gauge cable to, for the black, because why not? So that makes it look nice and neat, um, and that's connected to the second um, one of these. And what I've done is I've connected the charge controller. Currently it's directly into these, which then obviously you've still got the, the 32 amp circuit breaker up here. Um, but it's not obviously the best idea is um, because this is 32 amps this uh, wire is only rated up to about 25 amps so what we really need is another fuse on this um, coming out or pretty much a fuse as it comes out of the um, solar charge controller so I'll do that in the next day uh, um, get that fuse put on here and I might even put another fuse up here um, on the input um, from the solar panels directly in line um, mainly because I really don't trust this unit and if something blows I don't really want 60 volts at 8 amps going nowhere so um, but anyway um, a bit of an update what I'll do is I'll show you in the next few videos of it up and running but I thought I'd show you at least what it looks like on the wall right so I've just come outside to the garage again and the sun's just popped out I've got two panels in series so the voltage is really quite high, in fact it's over voltage because it only needs to have 60 volts on the input. Um, you can see out there that the solar panels are still in the same position. Um, there's two of them out there kind of laid out. But we're actually getting over 5 amps. Um, just the other second it was at 5.2 amps. Which is actually really impressive since the solar panels are not in the best position. Um, the two 240 watt panels, so we really should see a maximum of 480 watts. Um, but that's uh, not taking into consideration some losses to do with the, um, the charge controller itself. So if we get um, the 420, it's pretty good. Obviously we should be able to get uh, much higher. I would expect at least um, 450 watts. And as you can see, we're, there we go, we're back up to, the plane just flew over. This is the fault, uh, as you can see with this controller, is a plane just went over, the sun changed quickly. Um, it's still quite bright now on the solar panels. Um, mind you, it's actually quite shaded, to be honest. Um, I'm just looking out the window. Um, and a plane's just going over, so there's quite a few um, different changes of light. And it really affects this controller. Um, what happens is that it just... It pretty much shits its pants um, and once it's cleaned itself back up again as you can see the power starts um, going back up again so that's a, a bit of a fault of this unit um, it works perfectly well apart from that one fault which is pretty much uh, under shady and, and light changing conditions um, it just really craps out and then kind of freezes, waits, and then comes back to life again. So the tracking of the MPPT um, is really bad. It's it's shocking, to be honest, uh, and it's just really slow. So where a normal um, MPPT will will um, change with those conditions quite quickly and adjust its parameters, this unit, um, yeah, shits itself. So, however, apart from that one major flaw, it's actually very good. The screen's really good, the settings are really good, the, the rest of the unit it works flawlessly, it turns on in the morning. Um, now I do have far more, um, my voltage is way higher than it's supported. The problem is, is that um, 
putting one panel on this there's, it only seems to get up to 2 amps as a max however putting two panels in series the voltage is 60 volts in fact it goes up to 61 62 and I've seen it at 68 oh, oh, sorry, 78 volts so I've seen that really too high um, the cap the caps or the capacitors in this are 73 volts on the input uh, oh, sorry, 63 volts on the input uh, and any voltage over that isn't good um, it's meant to have a max voltage of 60 volts on the input uh, for the solar input but it can obviously handle up to 79 volts without um, failing however I'm sure over time the uh, those capacitors will probably fail if not something else um, as you can see the sun's nice and bright on those panels uh, we're ramping up to four and a half amps on the output now remember that that 390 watts there that's that's on the output um, not the input and obviously the current is the same so we might actually get back over 5.2 amps which would be quite good uh, it's still I took 800 watts out of the, um, the batteries last night so this is pretty much charging it back up to 83 volts uh, I've got this set to 82.7 volts just under that because I'm not too sure how accurate the voltage is um, it does seem to fluctuate if I put uh, 83.7 it goes up to 83.8 so I just wanted to back it off just a little bit um, but apart from that I, I did get it fully charged the other day and uh, it went to constant it's currently it's on const, a constant current so it does change to constant voltage and when it hits its mark or just over um, and then the um, yeah this, this goes to full bars uh, which I might show you on another video but as you see that that plane just went over and there's quite a bit of fluctuation and then it shut itself again so within 10 seconds it'll uh, pick itself back up again and away it'll go however that 10 seconds is is very frustrating in fact looking at the video it might just be over 10 seconds um, as you can see there's full light on those panels right now and by not using that power by the silly charge controller stuffing around it pretty much means that we're wasting um, power and I suppose over the period of the day it's actually making this unit very inefficient because of the amount of time it's sitting um, frozen as the changing light um, conditions now unfortunately it's a really cloudy and windy day today so there's breaks of strong light or sun and then um, a cloud or something comes over so it's up and down up and down continuously today which is why it's so important to have a charge controller that can keep up with um, the ever-changing light conditions or the ever-changing current conditions um, so there we go it just shut itself again uh, it did kind of quickly shade over the um, over the panels I, I did see that um, but yeah the clouds were over the show but um, efficiency wise yeah I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it so far uh, so this is a good idea about how it's running um, the solar panels have got pretty much full sun well, almost full sun anyway the angle is not perfect but it's pretty good but as you see we're over voltage by 9.8 volts I've seen that get as high as 78 volts so or 79 volts so um, it's way too high for it but as soon as we turn it on I've got the fan on kind of medium so it's bloody loud but anyway and uh, it takes about 10 seconds before it fires up but that's almost open circuit voltage on the uh, solar panels which is why that solar voltage is so high it's not until you start drawing power that the solar panels will go down to their MPPT um, voltage so and then it'll crank its way back up again As you see, it, it kind of takes a while. Should get over 300 and something.
Right, so shortly after that it's gone into constant current mode uh, as it's got close to the uh, 82.6 um, which will go up to 82.7 because it seems to fluctuate. Uh, we're still putting 4.64 amps into it. It is, um, when the sun is out, it is pretty rock solid with the readings. So it will sit there quite happily. Um, in fact, it does a really good job up into the fact, uh, up into the point that the, uh, the cloud comes over um, and it dies again. But apart from that, it's actually rock solid. There's a bit of, there's quite a bit of warm air coming out, coming out of it now. Um, however, it normally runs fairly cold. But remember that that's 4.6 amps at uh, 82 volts. Anyway, 